I'm already infamous, right? <laughs> you go. Okay, the only reason I'm here is I saw you guys were acting on the request for funding for Mission Valley Animal Shelter, which we appreciate. Okay, is, are we running right now, Kate? Are we running right now? Okay, it's, all right, uh, this is Lake County Commissioner Bill Barron. I'm the acting chairman in Gail's absence today, President Steve Stanley, and Sharon Hawk is here regarding a funding request for Mission Van Valley Animal Shelter. Correct. And go ahead. Okay, we requested $2,500 in annual payment from Lake County, which you guys have done for I don't, a lot of years, maybe 10. Um, and it does help defer some of our costs. And I also just am here to, if you guys have any questions, give you an update on how the animal shelter's doing. Uh, pretty much it. Okay. Um, one thing I want to start with is we got a letter from Rick Jord that needs to be read into the minutes here. But... Um, As of July 15th, 2024, 10 a.m., approval of funding request for Mission Valley Animal Shelter action item, Commissioner's Chambers. It says approval, so I suspect the deed is already done. Need, nonetheless, I oppose the donation. I'll be calling the animal shelter later today, asking them to at least maintain a little integrity by removing the notation on their website that they receive no government funding. Also, I will be asking them if their facilities on county property and what they pay for rent, if it is. Rick Jor. Um, so that's in the record now. And uh, I guess I'll address this right now. I guess he has a point from the perspective that on all your stuff, you do put no government funding and you do receive some. We do receive some. Yeah. And it would be nice if you could say what it is or just that you you know no what substantial government funding well, well you know it's um you can say the twenty five hundred dollars and the and we get twenty five hundred dollars a year from the tribes too yeah but anyway if if even if you just took sure. the no government funding part off it, it would be more accurate okay no problem but when you look at water when you look at the land the shelter's on that has a value sure it does so, yeah. But okay, no problem. We'll make sure that happens. I know Rick is against this donation, um, and I know there's others that are too, because tax dollars are used for it. But I look at it also that you're providing a service for the county right now that the county doesn't have, or um, we're in the process of trying to put something together uh, to have some dog ordinances and licensing and um, that's going to be a lot more than $2,500 a year. So it is. See, our budget's half a million. Yeah. So um, so I do think this is a good use of tax dollars at this point in time for the small amount that it is. And the bill, I mean, us having the ability to donate the land for the building to set on and stuff. And it's a lease. We still own the land. Right. Um, so I, I do look at it as a positive for the taxpayers in the county. And um, yeah, we've we've done the twenty five hundred dollars a year for a long time. Yeah. And it's uh, we actually used to help with some neutering and spaying and stuff, but we haven't been approached about that for a while. But um, do you recall, Bill, what you did on the spay neuter? I don't remember that. We well, it might not have been to the. I thought it was to the animal shelter. No, I know what it was. It, it was a separate group. Now it rings the bell. There was a separate group called the Lake County Spay Neuter Task Force. And they were separate from us. Oh, okay. Yeah. I thought they were and, part of it. And they right. were actually getting money to help, help spay neuter clinics. Right. That kind of, they couldn't maintain it. It was just too expensive. Um, and I do have some numbers. I mean, the spay neuter is our number one priority other than getting animals off the street because we're never going to solve the problem of too many dogs until we get it and cats until we get a handle on the spaying and neutering. Last year, we have a spay neuter certificate program where there is a copay and then they take their animals 
to their bed of choice. And then we pick up the balance. In 2023, we spent $90,000 on that spay neuter program. So far this year, we have spent $56,000 on that spay neuter program. And because this is so important, and it was always set up as for low income people, and it has come to our attention over the past year that people are abusing this. People who could otherwise afford to spay or neuter their pets if they've got a purebred thousand dollar dog and drive an Escalade. That was one of the vets that always says they always pull up in an Escalade or a Lexus. So we've really clamped down on that. And now we're going to require proof of income so we can really help the people who can't afford to do it otherwise. And of course, we're getting blowback and the blowback is coming from the people who could afford it and figure. <laughs> So, but that's the one thing we're going to do. And then for the six months of uh, 2024, we've actually had net income of about $76,000, which sounds great. I mean, we've done some increase in fundraising and that kind of thing. But the bulk of that comes from the bequest we got the first part of the year of $100,000. And that was from somebody in New York that we didn't even know. I mean, obviously they spent some time here. So as, but if we hadn't gotten that, we'd be operating at about a $24,000 loss for the year. Well, dogs are a real problem in the county. I mean, we have, we get numerous calls. It's, it, the number of calls are actually pretty amazing when you go through the sheriff's log and whatnot. And it seems like we're getting more calls on vicious dogs than what we used to have and, and whatnot. But we're in the process and Steve's heading this up for the county working trying to put an ordinance together with the tribe right. that the cities will sign on to and then it'll be the same ordinance through the entire county it doesn't matter where you're at a dog owner will have to go by the same rules so there'll be no question right. and um so we'll end up having an animal shelter of some type at that point in time and the problem with that is like your facility which is a no-kill facility uh the government run one isn't always like that. That's right. So um, you hate to see that. So yeah, the the board of directors at Mission Valley Animal Shelter met with uh, James Raymond and Mike Wheeler in March, and they kind of gave us an update, and we gave them an update of where we were. You know, they were still under the impression that we might shut our doors. And because of bequests, and last year we got a nice bequest, and that's what's really holding us together at this point. If we didn't have those, we'd, we'd be in serious trouble. But you can't count on those. You can't budget for those. So our budget is always showing the loss. And the other problem with all of the stray and vicious dogs, we are full. I mean, we are always at above maximum capacity so are the rescue groups so if, you know i mean there's nowhere for these dogs to go and when people can't keep a stray dog or even their own dog they get dumped and i mean it's it's tragic so i mean we do need another facility obviously and, you know i just I keep my fingers crossed that that ordinance. How close are we to the ordinance? Are we still? Well, I, it's, I got the impression in March that we were getting close. It's moving, but we're well, right now to be real, real frank, as we are waiting for the tribe to return to us uh, their thoughts on funding. And my feeling is we cannot go to taxpayers unless the tribe is participating in the funding of the animal control facility. Uh, so we're waiting. Um, we're waiting. What you know. is the for funding from our side about this? It would be a countywide levy that people would have to vote into place, and it would be assessed on cities and counties, and then the tribe would be responsible for funding for their non-members and that side of it that don't pay property taxes. So we're working that out to come up with a fair and equitable across the board system. 
So uh, how's that for a long political answer? I get it. <laughs> <laughs> I get it. <laughs> but so it is on the board today as an action item uh, for the funding of the twenty five hundred dollars. I would entertain a motion at this time. I would make that motion to support the twenty five hundred dollar payment. Okay, there's been a motion made to support the twenty five hundred dollar payment. I'll second that motion. Is there any more discussion? Just a comment. I think Bill's comment about uh, you are addressing some county issues out there, and I think that we have to spend some money to address those issues. So it's not like you aren't earning the money. As a, I, I guess we're yeah, providing them service to this community yes. and have for 30 some years. So that's all I have to say. Any further comments? Seeing no further comments, all in favor of the motion say aye. 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 Any opposed signify by the same. No opposed. The motion passes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And I will recess this meeting. Yes. Yeah.